Oh, hello guys, good morning, good day, good evening. So we have another quarter bite challenge assessment and this time we will take on HTML elements. Again, medium difficulty, bunch of solutions out there, so it's quite popular out there and description. For this challenge we will determine whether uh, HTML elements are nested correctly. So yeah, let's roll. Have function HTML elements, uh, have one input, read string parameter uh, being passed, which will be a string of HTML DOM elements in plain text. The uh, elements uh, will be used B, I, M, D, F, P. Okay, so it's limited amount if we need to handle. For example, string D, F, P, hello world, then the string of DOM element is not. Uh, then the string of element DOM elements is nested correctly, so program should return string true. Um, if a string is not nested correctly, return the the first element uh, and count it where uh, if a uh, change it into different element would result in a properly formatted string. If string is not formatted uh, uh, properly, uh, then it will be one element that needs to be changed. For example, if string is div, uh, uh, open div, open i, close it i, but or close it b, uh, then program should uh, return string div because if first div element were changed into b the string would be properly uh, formatted so again so we have div div b b a div p so we return div because we oh uh, we, we don't have close div and in this case, uh, it will return i. So we have div div ok, following p, we'll find p, em ok, and i will uh, will not do this. Ok, so again, the first uh, element or return true. Ok, let's see, let's go with implementation again. Uh, for this time around, we'll be using JavaScript. Again, let me know if you would like to see any other languages there. So, as usual, there are numbers of ways to implement one of them, uh, especially dealing with uh, kind of the structured data. We'll be using match and regex, in generally speaking. But for that uh, purpose, I specifically choose just make sure it's kind of as raw as can be. So, we'll be dealing really kind of with string. So, let's say if you need to, let's say, change and your from HTML will be something else, it might be repurposable out there. So yeah, let, let's, uh, let's go through implementation. So uh, uh, we'll split string into array. So we'll introduce array of nested arrays where each array contains a tag of its content. So again, we will be splitting with open tag and after that we will have a map uh, that we will be closing. So going, uh, uh, so the idea that we will have, the idea out there that it's still, again, have open and close. I guess this is something I just don't like in general. And this is it's not kind of very, uh, it's realized that structure a well defined and again instead of p we, we can get d for example which is again it is what it is so pay attention to really specific of implementation in your case when you will be kind the of challenging exercise on your side uh, uh, so uh, flatten uh, as the nested arrays so again we will go through this array uh, and uh, so we will loop it and we will check if this array uh, uh, out there. So we got this array and we will loop one more time and if something we will push this temporary uh, value there. Uh, 
get a, so we will get array of closing tags closing tags uh, and here so we will chat we will assign if it's again closing uh, we have it after that we'll get array of tags uh, by finding the closing tags that have a corresponding open tags so again going through the motion here we'll be including them and after that we will get array of open uh, opening tags so we have the split and after that we will filter out and checking uh, again uh, closing versus uh, opening and after that we'll find uh, opening tag that doesn't have corresponding closing tag and return it so wrong tag we introduce this uh, value after that we will find that it's not tag included in, uh, in this so in this case if we have something we'll return uh, as this wrong tag otherwise we'll return true so let's run our code, so we'll return it Yeah. True, which is it's not true div div b b, it's true So this seems to be didn't uh, run well And this is, okay, this is incorrect Let's check uh, what's missing here And code was written uh, just at the end facilitate uh, use cases so let's go back and uh, go through the code again it's I would say a new version of code out there so we introduce a stack uh, array we'll go through each uh, characters again we don't use here any match regex uh, uh, functions uh, just yet uh, so we we'll go through the, the list if opening tag, uh, tag is found push it into the stack so we'll have the found, uh, we will push it uh, to this, and after that we'll have that i its end. If closing test is found, pop a tag off of stack to compare it with closing tags. So we'll go and we will uh, do this slice plus two. So we'll, I do expect that will be closing one. Uh, if uh, tags do not do not match. Uh, return expected text again if top is not this so we'll return the top one if stack is uh, not empty return top text to stack so we'll get, we'll get have this uh, otherwise uh, this thing is properly formatted so we'll return the true so again uh, run this version that give us issue before and it's still Yup, this is good, and let's run the, uh, the run test, uh, test cases, all good, let's go with submissions then, recover it, and we could, I will accelerate as usually, we got all 10 test cases completed, so yeah, uh, all test cases are correct, again, ignore the timing for that matter, uh, especially uh, as we rewrite it uh, a few times, uh, to, to handle all uh, test cases so again th this one as I mentioned before you, you most probably will be more effective and more precise using match if you're talking in JavaScript uh, to make sure you filter out your attributes uh, uh, and element HTML elements out there but in this case again we purely use it basically uh, uh, characters uh, to uh, filter out and go uh, through the logic so again it was HTML elements from uh, assessment called the challenge from Coderpoint. If you have any questions or you would like to see any other uh, implementations, let me know. Please like, subscribe and see you guys in the next one.